The Browning football team was one of the biggest surprises in the entire state last season, notching their first winning record in over a decade and hosting a home playoff game for the first time in school history. And in 2018, the program is looking to take yet another step forward. D I A S S. The Browning football team is running into a problem at the start of fall camp, but it's a good problem to have. We have about 60 kids. Last year we had about 42, so 18 plus more kids. Uh, it's a good thing. We have a few kids that don't have helmets and stuff, but that's a positive thing. That just means more helmets and more gear coming in. So, After years of losing seasons, the Indians finally produced a winning team last fall. The school and the community took notice. They built stands for us. They, the, the, uh, companies around you see them writing go big red on the signs and stuff you know it just like makes you feel good and it makes you know that there's people out there that want you to succeed but one successful season doesn't make a winning program hard work and tradition does and that's something coach racine and his staff have been drilling into this year's team and that's the biggest thing that we're trying to do is just make be fans of each other um, bring the energy have each other's back but be fans of each other be fans of each other's work, and that's exactly what it has been so far. Browning lost some talent last year with guys like Brandon Ames back, James Gillum and the Loring Twins moving on to college, but the returning core is solid and determined not to let the program give up an inch of what they gained last season. Playoffs again is a personal goal for us, to our team. Um, I want to make sure that, you know, this streak that we just broke isn't going to we're not going to fall back into that pit again. I mean, obviously losing guys such as the Lauren Tins and Brandon Names back, they were such tremendous leaders in a, uh, they built the foundation for a new culture that we have here. Mm -hmm. And, but the great thing about it is that these guys built it with them. Well, the bar is even higher than that. Mm -hmm. We, we got our fans behind us now. Everybody, everybody's going forward and it's one goal. It's to win our Browning's first playoff game. Harvard country, one, two, three, Harvard! Well, the Indians face four non-conference games to start the season before play begins in the Northwest Day. Of course, Columbia Falls, the number one team in the state, expected to be up there again. Browning, though, still in the mix for another playoff spot. They will open Northwest play against Whitefish September 21st. Well, throughout the story,